Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your anomaly mission for the weekend. And then some. So we're going to do a little bit more talking today about the latest update for Orbital. Uh, some of you may have seen my live stream on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday evening when we talked about it a little bit back then. But uh, we're going to talk about a few other things today. We're going to start right up front with something in regards to the frigate missions. Um, while we're coming in through the stars here and waiting for the game to uh, open up. One of the things I mentioned as I was going to put into the comments section on my live stream about how the frigate missions turned out, well, there was nothing to write home about because both missions came back with no problem. So, been looking into the frigate missions. Basically, you may be called in to help them in a battle. You may be called in to help them with a situation in which the entire crew has been uh, taken over by alien uh, organisms or something like that, in which you have to come to a decision on what you want to do with them. So that is something that we got to look into, and I will probably be getting more missions. As you can see, my fleet mission is complete, and i got to go back to my capital ship, uh, which is where I'm at right now. So just to show you basically what's going on, nothing Thing is happening with these guys uh, got a bunch of ships down here we're gonna probably take our starboard runner because they corrected some things about the starboard runner so we'll take a look yeah I don't even know where I'm going half the time needs to be a little more color on those uh, areas so here's my ship I sent this one ship out a c-class ship to do a three-star mission and apparently he succeeded so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this real quick and the expedition so a two-star it was a two-star. So I got some stuff out of it. Got some credits and everything like that out of it. whoop dee dee So I'm not going to bother getting a frigate mission going right now. We'll worry about that later. And let's talk some more. So let me go back to my ship over here. Um, what else to bring up? Oh, yes, of course, guilds. The mercenary guild that you approach inside, usually pirate stations, I believe, is where you find those guys. The mercenary guilds are very interesting. When you fight pirates, like I ended up in a system where I had a frigate battle going on, so I went ahead and took out all the pirates. And I got a little item in my inventory, and of course it's probably not going to be in this inventory. Uh, yeah, it'll be in another ship's inventory. We'll pull that in in just a second. Let's head over to the anomaly right now. As you can see, I got a space station right there. And how far I have to put this... <laughs> of course they're going to pop in right now, right? Let's get away from these guys so I can pull the anomaly in and get our mission going. There we go. All right, and there she is. All right, let's head in, and we're going to pull in one of the other ships, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But as I was fighting the pirates, I was picking up items as I normally do, and uh, just like you and I would normally do, we go into our inventory on our ship and go ahead and open up all these little packages, see what kind of things we're getting, we get items, you get upgrades, and so forth. Well... That's not what happened in this case, so let me show you. So I'm going to... And we will take the starboard runner on our mission, but let me go ahead. I was not trying to scan the station. Uh, I should have been using a, this ship here. There it is. Pirate Transponder. A unique ID transponder ripped from the internal signal array of an outlaw starship. This a possession of such a device implies the destruction of a vessel in question. Turn it over to an envoy of the Mercenaries Guild to collect any associated bounties. So while they're worth quite a bit of money, as you can see, it was it's actually worth something to the Merc Guild. And we're going to check that out after our Anomaly mission. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit, too. Other news. What other things? Trading is based on reputation with your with the species that are in the space station. So if you're wondering about that, go to your catalog and you can see what your standing is with a certain uh, species. In this case, the Viking are in this system, so it's showing me that. And if we take a look, you'll see my standing is at 163. Yes, I'm at the highest metal achieved. You, I think you get that around 100 or 120. But you can keep the standing going up and up and up to give you an idea of how far, high your standing can go. Currently, my autophage is at 333. So you can keep going with this standing and get really, really high. So that's what I'm working on next. As you can see, Outlaws, I don't have any standing. The Explorers and the Mercs Guild have very little standing, and Merchants, very little as well. But with Corvax, the Viking, and the Gek, I have a pretty good standing with them. But it's something I'm going to work on as time goes by. Anyway, moving on, let's go check out the mission for the day. Or the weekend, I should say. So terrestrial homes, we need to construct another outpost. Now this sounds really familiar. I think we had to do this last weekend, so it looks like we're doing it again. 
Hopefully, this time I won't need to come back to the anomaly to pick up things. So, we'll see what happens here. So, I'm going to initialize said mission and start said mission. And let's go back and reselect our... Actually, before we do that, I'm going to take this out of my inventory. There we go. And we're going to pull in our starboard runner. Starborn? Starborn runner. What am I talking about today? There we go. And we'll check about the hovering ability with it, because apparently that's been fixed. So off we go on our mission. What other news? Let me see. We talked about frigate missions, the guilds, especially the Merc Mercenary Guild. Uh, the trading is rep-based, rep so that's good. We also have trade surges. Some of you may have seen that in the live stream, that you could trigger a trade surge. Uh, by speaking to certain uh, individuals, if you will. Uh, so we'll be looking into that in another video soon. All right, so what do we got going on here? It wants me to make a home here someplace. Hopefully not on the rest of Sentinel Planet. What hospitable planet are we talking about? Oh, over here. Good. I was about to say. That doesn't make any sense. That's not very hospitable at all. Okay, potential... Construction site, rainy planet. Okay, let's head over. You know what? We didn't take a look at the space station. We always have to check out the space stations, right? Let's take a look. Let me do a little pulse drive up to it. We went too far away. Um, so this looks like almost like a regular space station. But not quite. You can see it has an, a, a protrusion down here. What I've seen is, let me get a little further away and we'll take a look at it from a distance. Is that when I look at the space station, if it's only got the one protrusion like that and it's not very fancy, it usually means the space station is a low category. So the economy of the system is not very good. To prove that, let's take a look inside. I like the coloring, the green and purple is kind of nice. We'll go to that construction site in just a moment. All right. So let's take a look, shall we? And we just, all we have to do is hit our F button, look down. It says the conflict level is stable, metal processing, and the economy is destitute. So this is a one-star system, as you can see. So that's a good way to tell as uh, what system it is. If you don't have an economy scanner and you can't check it when you're going through hyperspace, that's how you can tell. Just look at the space station. All right, let's go over to this planet and get our mission going. Very good, very good. As you can see, my pulse lines are reactivated now. I'm noticing something with the pulse lines, that they look much better now. They look cleaner, things don't get as pixelated as they used to. So, I know they had some engine upgrades, as they say, graphic engine upgrades, and I wonder to myself whether this isn't the reason why. Alright, normally I'd look for some place to park, but I'm just going to land anywhere. And there's a nice little spot right here next to this uh, uh, ancient little archive, if you will. Let's go ahead and land. And there we go. Okay. First contact, X10 Z20 Z or 720, if you will. All right. So we need to start with the base computer, as usual. Get that going here. All right. Position not saved when you're in the mission from the anomaly. Keep that in mind. So if something happens and you die for some weird reason, I don't know what would cause that, but you will have to start this whole thing over again. All right, so it says uh, I need to construct timber floor panels. Uh, so fortunately, I have all these, and if you have a new game, you should have these as well. We need six of them. I'm going to do them in a little rectangular fashion there. And next, I need to do nine walls. Let's go ahead and do that. You don't really have to do anything special if you don't want to. You can be kind of crazy and just make them all over the place if you wanted to. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next, we need a door. Let's see which one it wants. It wants us to do this one. Got the door going. We need flat timber roofs, six of them. So let's see. It should be down here. There it is. And if you want to, you hit your B button on your keypad on a PC, and you can pull back and do it a little bit easier this way. And what's next? 
Let's see. Uh, let's see. Construct timber framed glass panel, a timber arch, twin timber windows, and a timber ramp. Interesting. So it looks like almost like another building almost. Let's find out. So glass panel. All right. So let's put it up here. Two, three, four, five, and we can do the B button too here if you want, but I'm just going to walk around. All right, we need timber arches. Down here? There it is. How many does it want? Six of those. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, twin timber windows. Interesting. I don't know where we're going to put these. It's making it a very odd-looking uh, design, but we'll go ahead and do it. I'll put them up here. I think I know what it's up to. Interesting. So it puts the windows up way high. I'm going to put them right here. Oh, we need four of those, huh? Okay, that's fine. Three... Four. Okay. We need a timber ramp. We need four of those. We need four of these for some weird reason. So I'm going to put these next to the building, I think. I'm sure there's a better way to build all this, but I'm not as concerned about it. Two. I'm just going to put them all over here. Three. It looks like the ugliest... Thing. Beeble bum, don't even watch this, please. You're probably cringing while you're looking at it, so. Uh, we need a sofa. Okay, let's go inside. We need a sofa, huh? That's gonna be over here. Hopefully you all have that as part of yours. There we go. We need, what, two of those, it says? Okay. Yeah. Put one here. One there. Uh, we need a desk chair. We'll put it in between. I want to spin it around a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, because this base isn't going to stay here. There's a desk chair. Oh, we need two of them. All right, we'll put one over here, too. There we go. Lab lamp. Okay, so we need the lab lamp, which is, for some reason, I think I even mentioned it in my last uh, run, that I, for some reason, didn't have the lab lamp as part of my decorations, and I don't know why. So guess what we got to do? We got to go up to the anomaly and go get it. Hopefully, it won't need anything else. Pull on the anomaly and we'll go learn that real quick. Love when that happens. What other news? What other news? So you have three types of ships that you can manufacture on your own. Haulers, fighters, and explorers. You can get ship parts from nearly every single ship that comes from those classes. I have run across some ships that won't give you any parts. So keep that in mind. I think shuttles. I don't think shuttles you can do. So that's another idea. Oh, look, it's got a purple icon over there, too. We could get the special one for the day, too. Oh, well. Probably not going to be there by the time we get back. So, fortunately, I have plenty of salvage data. Okay, we need the lab light. Let me get over there, make sure I'm not missing it someplace in here. Hold on. And I know I'm going to miss it. See, all these are new parts, by the way. Since I have enough salvage data, I may come back and get some more later. Lab light. There it is. Hmm. Okay. That's all I'm going to get for now. Hopefully that's all we need. And that's how that works. It's a bit of a, dr of a drag to do that. I've actually got a new playthrough I'm doing, a normal game playthrough, that I did the Anomaly mission on and found it took me almost an hour to get it done because of all the back and forth and back and forth I had to go to the Anomaly... Plus, I had to get a ton of salvage data since I didn't have any. And I did it the right way. I didn't glitch it. It's a nice little planet. 
And a little hint, a good way to find crashed ships is find them submerged. If you have the Nautilin, you can get in a Nautilin, go underwater, and find submerged crashed ships. And that is actually easier to do. Sometimes. Alright. Go ahead and put our lab lamp in. I'm going to put it right inside here. And let's just put you over on the wall there. That's fine. we got to do three of these, so two. And I'll put a third one there. Okay. And that's it. Fortunately, that's all I needed. So let me go ahead and upload the base. Okay, upload. And done. It is now done. And to get your items back, you will have to delete it all. I suggest just take it all back because... It saves you, especially if you have a new game or something like that, you get all your resources back, and you kind of want those. Okay. Looks like we got everything, right? And do yourself a favor and delete the base, too. It's not going to clog up your system of having too many bases, because you really have to go pretty far. I think you have to get over 300 per galaxy in order to get that many bases, but no use in having a base in your system there that you don't ever use. So let's check the Starborn Runner real quick. I just want to try something here. Yep, look at that. Stays perfectly stable. Okay, good. So that's working. Alright, let's go back to the anomaly. We're on our way. And we'll go ahead and end this mission inside here. What else to discuss? So, haulers, fighters, explorers, the ship parts have no class. What I mean by that is that whether you uh, trade in a C-class, B-class, A-class, or S-class, it doesn't make a difference. You'll get the ship part, and the ship part doesn't isn't based on the type of class that it is. They'll stack no matter what ship class you get. So for now, gather up all the items you can. Ooh, looks like we have the special mission still in there. Shall we go ahead and make this a double? And get the special mission while we're here. Let's see what we can do. So we're going to go ahead and complete our mission. We'll get our 1800 tw Quicksilver. And as I've said before, we'll go ahead and check out the Quicksilver vendor real quick to see where we are. Great items. Yeah, we haven't gotten them yet, so Tier 1 isn't quite there yet. But not a lot of people are probably doing these anomaly missions right now. Except us, right? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go back in and check out this other weird mission. Here it is. So what do we get out of this? 25 larval cores and 671,000 units. So we know we're not getting any Quicksilver from this. And here you get Lubricant too, so that's probably not a bad idea. Um, but you get an unknown mission and you get 25 larval cores. And even just the nanites alone are worth it. So select it. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Initialize the mission and we're going to start the mission. So this is a double today. You're getting a double mission out of me today, guys. A little bit longer. Good deal, good deal. Documenting the infinite. Okay, so there's our task, so we're going to go ahead and leave. It looks like we have to scan stuff, so that's what we're going to be going. So we're going to do yet another system. Will we get back to our initial system that had our freighter at it? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows at this point? But I hope you all are enjoying the Orbital update. It is absolutely a fascinating update. I'm really enjoying everything about it. I think it's wonderful. All right, we're out. So while it's looking around, we're going to turn around and look at our space station. Okay, it looks like a... No oh, this is an outlaw station. Now, the outlaw stations were not updated. So nothing special there. But while we're here... You know what I have in mind, right? Let's do this. Remember that stuff I had on my ship? Or on my person, actually, now? That's, uh... Here we go. Go to my exosuit for a minute. These items right here, the pirate transponders. Let's see what happens here. Haven't done this yet. I think our Merc... Guild person is here, isn't he? Am I wrong about that? And if I'm wrong, by all means, let me know. That's Buccaneer. He's a pirate master. I think it's this guy, isn't it? Let's find out. Nope, he's just the Bounty Master. That's all he is. I could have swore the Merc 
guy was here. I don't think that's him. Raiding entity. Is this the guy? He's a scrap dealer, of course. There's our tool. Hmm. I honestly don't remember where the mercenary guild guy is. Maybe you guys can drop me a, a comment and tell me how dumb I was to forget this. So, I'm not sure where we find the mercenary guild guy. And I think if I talk to these guys... Nope. Just talking. So it's not them. And I don't think you are it. You're just a contraband seller, correct? That's it. I've gone to you many times. Yeah, see, I can sell it, but I'm not going to get anything for it. So I've got to find the mercenary guy. So we'll look into that. In the meantime, let's document and get this other mission out of the way, shall we? Remember, solar ships are not included in that... In the starships that you can create yet. We suspect that that's coming. Probably in another update later on. Now check this out. We got three planets right in a row here. And we're going to this planet here, which is Stellar Corruption. Activated indium dioxide silver. So this is a blue star system. Or an indium system, if you will. And... Oop. All right. So, we just need to basically land. That's it. And I don't think we're going to find anywhere to... Well, I guess like maybe we will, but... I doubt it'll be any place with a landing pad. That's okay. I'm not really worried about landing someplace that has a landing pad. So, we'll just go ahead and land. All right. We are out. Unfathomable storms. That's interesting. I've never seen something like that before. All right, we have to discover minerals. Six. So that's what our discovery is all about. So let's do that. One. Inorganic objects is what you're looking for. Two. And anytime they have question marks, scan them. Three. And don't be surprised at what you find. Even the smallest of rocks sometimes, like this little guy right here. See? Okay, and then look at something maybe a little bit bigger than that, or something in a different category, like this one right here. That's four. And I think there's one right there. No, that's the same one. And you can do is you can look around real quick and just look at other objects, and anytime you get a... There you go. Question marks, that's what you're looking for. All right, so we did that. Now we got to discover creatures. I find it easier to zoom in on the birds when you want to discover them. There's two. Any land-based? Don't see any. Wow, they're all birds here, I guess. There's three. And some more over there. And there's four. Okay, that's four. Now we need eight plants, right? Now, these may not be plants, no. So plants are going to be much smaller, I think, on this planet. But I'll show you a little trick on that. So we did have some plants over here. Some of them are not discoverable, as you can see. Some are. Did I just have a trader land near me? Is that what this guy is? He sure is. Let's check out what our merchant has. What do we got? Okay, so we got all X-Class, Movement... There's really nothing in here I can I really, really need. I will grab, say, a hyperdrive module just to give him a little something. But I'm also interested in what kind of ship he's got. So let's take a look at it. It's a solar ship. Okay, so I really can't do anything with that. Pretty nice looking ship, as truth be told. I like the color of the solar sails. I don't like that shape, though. But, hey, nice ship. All right, so we got one plant, right? So there's... And here's a second one. Let's go ahead and grab it. So that's two plants. And if you're having trouble finding plants on a planet like this, do this. Do a scan and look for anything that's oxygen, like that over there, or sodium. And then, of course, the blasting ones, the ones that uh, boost your rockets. So, like that sodium plant right there. So, we're going to take a look at it, and you can scan those, too. And these hazardous plants, scan those. That's another plant. So, that's four. And we got a super heated, heated st storm at 300 degrees. So make sure you got the right protection for this, folks. 
There's a plant right there. That's our oxygen plant, so that's five. <laughs> and I think it wants one more, if I'm not mistaken. So, since my scan has disappeared, let's go ahead and scan one more time. Uh, let's see. Oxygen. Let's go over here. You can always duck into a cave as well, because caves will have what you're looking for. But as you look around, just look for question marks that pop up. That will help you. And if you're looking for caves and it gets too crazy like, like it is right now, look for things underground. Because things underground will tell you stuff. These plants, by the way, like the hexaberries, you can't scan those. Because they're already pre-knowns. Let's go all the way over here and take a look. Uh, oh, there's a plant. Okay, good. We'll get that one. And that's number six. Okay, is that everything? I'm waiting. Oh, it wants me to discover three more plants. Good gravy. Okay. Let us look for a cave. Because I think that's our next thing that we need to find. What do we got here? We've got buried minerals. That brings back uh, a little PTSD there from speedrunning. Oh, that looks like a plant. So there's, uh, what, six? Right? Okay, we're up to six. Is this a plant here? Yep, seven. Ooh, remember that jet plant? There it is. Eight. There we go. That should do it. So, we've scanned life and minerals. Is that it? I'm just waiting for it to give me my next part of my mission. Okay. Oh, naval surveying. Okay, so it wants me to find pinpoint electromagnetic power, gas, and deep level minerals. So we got to find all three. So we'll start with the gas. There's one over this way. Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're getting closer. And you notice my extreme weather thing is going down. Let's make sure we charm it, charge it there. Okay, we should be right on top of it. We've got to get within five in order to survey it. There we go. Wait for the survey to complete. Done. So we have our first hot pocket. Not that kind of hot pocket. Okay, uh, we need mining and we need power. Just get what you can. Okay, there's one 300 blocks away this way. Let's head out. We gotta try to get up our slope here. In the storm. A little tough. We can bring out our ship if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead the old-fashioned way. Because with the storm, you'll notice my jetpack is not hardly using any power whatsoever. That way. And you can scan while you're flying. It's over here. But be careful, because I went off a cliff here, and I know it's got to be right in front of me soon. There we go. Oh. We're literally right here. Okay, so this is our power. Okay, now we're going to go back the other way, and we need to find a another hot spot for mining. Can't see a blessed thing through here. Let's just keep going. Still nothing. And you may have to do that. You may have to actually take off in your ship for a little bit and look for someplace else. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Let's get up to the top of this slope here. We'll call in the ship. I hate these rocky areas. 
Because you'll notice it's such a steep slope that I'm literally not using any jetpack power. Now I'm using it. Okay, let's pull in the ship. Just got to find a place it'll land at. We need one more hot spot. Really? My ship broke it. Give me a break. So just take it to someplace else. Go much further away than you were. Hopefully a little less hilly and mountainy. Ah, that'll work. Let's go down here. Mountainy? Is that a word? I don't think that's a word. Ignore me. Okay, take a look. And we need this. Still no hot spots. Okay. A little further out. Nothing. Now, if you're really having trouble, you can go to different planets in the same system. You just can't leave the system. Keep that in mind. Aha! We have something. Straight in front of us. Still right in front of us. We're doing pretty good. Right there. Should be right... Whoop. Too far. And stop. And there we go. Now let's see, is that everything? Analysis complete. Just gotta wait for the mission to catch up to us. Upload survey data. Uh, where? Maybe we gotta get in our ship? Upload the survey data to the space anomaly, so we're gonna go up there. Deploy a signal booster to mark an upload station. Okay, so that's what we got to do. Got to build our signal booster. I happen to have one in my inventory. Never leave home without one. Okay, structure located, overriding terminal. Really weird mission. This was a weirder one than I've ever been on. There we go. Back on our starboard runner. And where is our location? That way. How far away? An hour away. So this mission's gonna be a little longer than we thought. No, I'm kidding, of course. We're gonna pulse drive to it. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and upload the survey data. Interesting. It's an abandoned station. Fascinating. Just gonna make sure nobody's gonna attack us while we're here. So if you look up above, you see that the eggs are up there. You're also looking for tendrils that could be hanging down. Like that one. There we go. Now you don't have to worry about it attacking you. Okay. Welcome, user. Nada. Interesting. Please present planetary survey data for signing and upload. So we uploaded that. The data. Packaging biological and geographical discoveries. Connecting to bzz, remote server. Secure con bzz, verified planetary data. Bzz, traveler entity. Log out. Okay. And there we go. Mission has complete. So back out to your ship if you want. You can gather up some eggs, but that's up to you. I'm not going to do that today. And let's head out. So this was an exciting mission. A little longer than usual, right? And all we need to do now is pull in our anomaly. There we go. And in we 
go. And this should complete our anomaly mission for the day. So, two anomaly missions. You got two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. Isn't that cool? And there we go. And a little more information about the new update. So that was pretty good stuff. And stay tuned. I've got something I'm going to come out with tomorrow evening. Um, a little special segment. It's only going to be about 15-20 minutes long. A new video. That's going to be the new update in VR. I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to complete our mission. We got our units and we've got our 25 larval cores. Isn't that great? All right, we're in good shape today. So that was a fun mission. I'm glad you guys were able to stick around to watch it and see this. Um, and hopefully if there's any questions, go ahead and drop them. Now I'm still looking for that mercenary guild guy. I'm gonna do a little research on my own, see where I can find him and, and maybe tomorrow we'll talk about that as well. So uh, no live streams this weekend, but we will definitely have a few videos coming out. So keep your eyes open for that. Thank you very much for watching everybody and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care and thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe, okay guys? Take care.